Hi everyone, this is Ants. Do you notice the difference between these two animated uh, magic witches? Well, the one on the left is using uh, Jiggle Bones plugin, and the one on the right is not. As you can see, the one on the left is a lot more dynamic. Its ponytails and tails are being kind of jiggled. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. In five minutes, I got this working. It was fantastic. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is actually get the plugin. Type in jig or jiggle and uh, install jiggle bones and then go to the project settings and make sure it's enabled. It doesn't enable it uh, on, on download, but that's okay. It's very easy just to enable it. And once it's enabled, you have access to a new, a new node called jiggle bones. So let's see the difference. So this is the original witch. And I have a previous video of me how to um, use Mixamo to Godot without using Blender and everything. And I had this uh, imported. And as you can see, if I move the witch, nothing happens to the ponytails and tails, right? It's very static. But uh, with the jiggle, right? Oh, I have to select the entire witch. And now, if you see, uh, it's basically animated. It, it basically, uh, any movement affects um, the hair and the tail. So where's the magic sauce in this? Well, it, you, you get uh, access to a new node, right? And basically you have to map every single bone that you want to jiggle to uh, a node. And um, it's not hard work, but it's just a little bit tedious. If you have a lot of bones, I didn't have too many bones. I think it was uh, 16 bones. But here's the tail. You have to uh, basically, you know, copy these names of these um, bones and add them to the bone name. And that's all you really need to do. That is the minimum set you need to do. And each one has the different name of its corresponding bone. And that's it. I changed the stiffness. I used gravity. I changed the forward axis. You may have to change that to make it look uh, correct. But that's basically it. In all honesty, it was super easy. Did all this in five minutes. And if I can do it, you definitely can do it. So it was fantastic. And the results are amazing. I can't believe I could. I mean, this is just amazing. I love it. So that's basically it. Want to keep it a quick video. Again, assets, asset library, type in jiggle, load it, project settings enable it and you're good to go all right and let's end it off as you can see the one on the right way more dynamic way better honestly it's just yeah it's awesome and by the way it's uh you could do collisions on it too which is fantastic honestly this is just uh, this is just tip of the iceberg this is just five minutes work you could do so much stuff with this Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Take care.